So we're really excited to be here today to announce our acquisition of this former coal-fired power station here at Aberthaw in the Vale of Glamorgan. And our plan is not just to purchase this site, but to fully demolish and remediate and reclaim the site so that we have a clean site on which we can build future industries in green and clean technologies. So the future master plan really is to do several different things with the site, but all coming back to the theme of economic development and aligning that economic development with investment in clean growth. So in the first instance, and once the site is fully remediated, we want to trial and test new things around green hydrogen production. There's a fantastic tidal range here, so there could be an opportunity for tidal development. Solar, for, for sure, and even before we finish the rest of the site, we have huge potential to put a solar park on the Ash Mound just across the way there. We know that data centres that are coming to the region, they don't just need sites, they need access to power capacity and power potential. And that's what this site offers in spades. It's got two national grid substations, and we believe this could be the site as well for the Celtic Seas offshore wind project, which UK government is about to tender, has to make landfall somewhere on the South Wales coast. If we didn't have this site, we wouldn't be in with that opportunity to be able to acquire such programmes in the future. Well, from the Vale's perspective, obviously, the, it will benefit the economy, it will benefit local people in terms of jobs. But I think what an awful lot of people in the Vale are, are interested in is how we tackle the climate change agenda. And this, this really will mean that we can play our part. So the main benefit to the region, I think, is around energy security and resilience. We want to grow clean growth industries of the future. So we think around up to 5,000 jobs could be cultivated from this site and in supply chains, high order jobs, good salaries in an industry that we know will be around for years and years to come. But it isn't just about the job creation. I think we see the role here of the public sector as being one of a custodian, taking a long term approach to investment on the site and being really responsible about what we do. So just across the way, there's a nature reserve of about 70 acres. That's really important from a local ecology and biodiversity point of view. So we really want to enhance and preserve this aspect of the site so the local community can feel really proud of what we're trying to do here. Obviously the site has been here for a long time, over 50 years. It's been very, very visible and uh, local residents in the Vale have seen it for a long time. And as it's been decommissioned now and as we're moving forward to seeing the, the buildings themselves removed from the site, it's really important that the community know what's going to happen in the future. That's why I think it's important we've been involved early on, both as a capital region but also as a local authority. So, and, and through that, through being involved, the community will obviously be involved too. Well, the local community have to live with this site. And I think the local community, you know, needs to understand that what we're trying to do here is to add value and enhance the local environment. Yes, there will be industry here, but it will be a clean industry. And we want the local community to work with us, co-create wherever, wherever possible. And I think in the future, we really want to open this site up. It shouldn't be closed, it should be accessible. So in the future, a potential for a visitor centre, somewhere where we can bring people and this stuff can be made real, you know, you can see it, you can feel it, you can touch it and you can really experience everything we have to offer here.